Hey guys, here's what we're gonna be building today. It's a secondary nav that goes up here above your header. You can, it's mobile responsive, so the nav items are there in the menu as well. And also, just to let you know, I have a paid version of this plugin that has a bunch of other options, and you can see a demo. You can position it on the bottom, you can put it in other places, and it can also, it would also stick right to the top like that. So it's pretty cool. If you want that, feel free to purchase it just down below. All right, so let's build the secondary nav in Squarespace 7.1. So the first thing we wanna do is scroll down here to the initial setup. So we just wanna copy this code and we wanna paste it into our site footer area. So this is gonna be put into the footer of every single web page on our website. So I've copied that. Let's go over to our, our page right here. I'm gonna to go to, this is my demo website. I'm gonna to go to settings, advanced, code injection, and then this footer area. And the footer, we're just gonna paste all of that code we just copied right there. Hit save, and you'll see it'll automatically format. Now we have this area up here at the top where we will, where the links will add. Now, part two is we just need to add the links. And so this is relatively simple. All we need to do is add a secondary nav folder in our main navigation and add whatever links we want in there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to our settings. Uh, go to pages. I've already built this secondary nav folder. I'm just gonna pull it up here into the main navigation area and you'll see, boom, it'll populate with our three links. So the thing you need to make sure is that this secondary nav, if you go into the settings, the URL slug is secondary dash nav. So that's how it's gonna know to pull the contents of that folder into the main nav. Uh, and then you can see, you can paste, put in whatever here. You can put any links, you can put any of your collections, any of that stuff. You can't put a folder in there because Squarespace doesn't allow folders in folders. Uh, but other than that, you can put anything you want in here. All right, so now let's talk about some styling. What if we wanted to move these links around and stuff? So on step three, we can tweak any of the styles. So what we want to do if we wanna move these, let's go back to that code that we put in our footer. So I'm gonna, gonna go to settings, advanced, code injection and down here you'll see our data position right here it says top dash center we can do top dash left and that's going to move the links over to the left side we can do top dash right uh really any of those three i also have some other options with my my paid uh plug if you want to play around with putting it on this header right there or even below where it might stick but let's just stick with top dash right for right now and let's say we wanted to change around the colors here. So since this header is gonna be on every single page of your website, we want the CSS to apply to every single page of your website. So we're gonna to go to design in our custom CSS area, and we're gonna put our styles in here. So I'm gonna go back to my website. We can change the background color of our secondary nav, copy that, just paste it in. It's gonna make it red. And if you wanna change it to blue, just change that to blue. Um, maybe we want to change the link color here. Maybe we want to change it to white. I'm going to copy those in, change those to white right there. That's, you know, the, the coloring isn't great. I'm not a designer, but you have the option there. And you'll also see on mobile, it works as well. If I hit this mobile button, we have our three sub nav menus right there. But maybe I want these links to just stay up top. I don't want it on mobile. I don't want it to be in the menu there. So I have some code as well that allows you to keep the secondary nav on the header on mobile. So again, just copy that. We'll paste it right in there. It's gonna stay right here. And we have this little drop down. You can just hit that drop down and boom, there you go. There are the links. And if you wanted to move this drop down around, of course, I have more code for that as well. So just copy that, throw it in here. And right now, this is on flex end, so it's gonna be at the end. This icon is gonna be at the end, but maybe we want to put it at the start, and that'll be on the left side. So there we go. That's how you customize the secondary nav. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Like, subscribe if this was uh, easy for you, if you liked it. And I hope this helps.